Good evening, dear ladies. Let's bless Bezrat Hashem that we will all have the schut to greet Mashiach Tzidkenu. Berachamim Hurim Bimra Biamenu Amen. And may we all, Bezrat Hashem, have the schut to see and greet Eliyahu Navi Eliyahu Tishvi Eliyahu Giladim Bimra Mashiach David Eliyahu Navi Zakulato. And we all have the schut, Bezrat Hashem, to see the building of Beit Amendash Hashishi Bimra Biamenu Amen. Ki Ayn Bainer Bishvad Netzion. Ata Takum Tarachem Tzion Ki Et Lachanena Ki Va Moed. Hashivenu Adonai Alecha Venashuba Chadesh Amenu Kekedem. And we all have the schut, Bezrat Hashem, to go to Eretz Yisrael on the wings of eagle. And we all have part in Eretz Yisrael. בשם השם נעשה ונצליח, אין עוד מלבדו, השם שפתי תפתח ופי יגיד תהילתך. And בסייעתא דשמיא, everything that we do is בשם כל ישראל. This Shabbat we are finishing חומש שמות, two last portions, which is ויקל ופיקודי, they are all around the משכן, the holy tent בסייעתא דשמיא. חזק חזק ונתחזק, we'll say that בשבת בעזרת השם, that we will be strengthened, that we will be strong, we'll be strong and we will be strengthened, בעזרת השם. And uh, it's also שבת החודש, it's also שבת that we, we are taking out from, from the היכל two books of Torah, one for פרשת, for the portion of ויקל, and the portion of פיקודי, uh, and the second sefer Torah is for part of פרשת בו, when we speak about the first month of the year of, by the Torah, which is the month of Nisan, החודש לכם, החודש הזה לכם, חודש... Rishon, it will be the first month by the Torah, the, the month of Exodus, the month that we, Hashem took us out of Egypt. And this is also Shabbat Mevarchim. It's also Shabbat that we bless the month because next week on Thursday it's, we are starting the month of Nisan. So dear ladies, I'm reminding you to read the whole book of Torah, Besiyat Adishmaya, uh, the whole Zlachad, book of Tehillim, Besiyat Adishmaya. Uh, on Shabbat, it's good to read it every Shabbat, but especially on Shabbat that we bless the coming month, Bezrat Hashem. So if you can't do it, if you're going to the shul, Tavo Alechem Abrachai. If you don't go to the shul and you're at home and you, can, you cannot finish it on your own, so divide it before Shabbat among your friends and everybody will read in their homes and together you'll finish the whole book of Tehillim. And, and Bezrat Hashem with this, Hashem will bring us salvation because we need SOS salvation not only the children of Israel, but the whole world. And I was asked, so many people are asking me, so first let's, let's say uh, that this shiur Bezrat Hashem is also l'schut Rabbi Elimelech Medizansk, alav shalom schutot agen alenu, and l'ilu nishmat chai edit yudit bat Rachel, l'ilu nishmat besiyat adishmaya Yitzchak ben Shimon hanolad mileha, alav shalom tishmato tzra betzor hachayim, It's also Leilun Lishmat Avraham Menachem Yaakov Yisrael Bnei Avraham Noach Alem Ashlom Tishmutan Tzorah Chaim And also it's It's the two brothers also The other two brothers Alehem Ashlom Everybody that the terrorist murdered Bezrat Hashem That they will be the Zohar with us And all of the souls that uh, don't have anybody to say for them Kaddish, may be the Zohar with us, Barchem Ta'arem Rachmei Tzidkatecha Tamid Gamlein. And Bezrat Hashem, it's for Refua Shlema, for Nava Bat Tamara, Sonia Bat Rivka, Avraham Ben Tamar, uh, Lea Bat uh, Bronyan, David Ben Basha Gidel, uh, Yitzchak David Ben Miriam Shoshana, Lea Bat Freida, Angela Adina Bat Gulchera, Sarah Rachel Bat Chasida Sarah, Rachel Chaya Bat Lea Sarah, Chani Bat Chava, Yonah Bat Sarah Zohara, and everybody that needs Bezrat Hashem from Aleph to Taf, everybody that needs Tami Bat Vora, and everybody that needs Refua Shlema Bezrat Hashem. And everybody that is healthy, may Hashem continue uh, their health mentally and physically, and may we all be Zoche, that we'll all have the merit to do Tshuva Meum Kadaliba from the root of our hearts. We see um, that we have very strong winds all over the world. And we see that uh, what we see in Tehillim, chapter 92, that King David wrote, that all of the wicked people are, raising, are rising up. And um, King David writes over there in order to eliminate them, that Hashem will elim eliminate them totally. And this is Amalek, Hashem will eliminate them totally. 
So we see the winds that are also in Israel. And I was asked, and, I'm t and I want to tell you that the winds that are in Israel and all over the world, all of this is the war of Amalek. It's just in disguise. Reforma, lo reforma, it's only a disguise. The disguise, it's, it's hidden because everything is politics, but it's all hidden. The true war is either to be under, to, to, to put up upon ourselves the kingdom of Hashem, of God, or to decide that we, are, we can do whatever we want in this world, chas v'shalom, God forbid, that there's no God and, and you can do whatever you want. So there, we are divided to two. There's no in-betweens. There's also when Mashiach comes, there isn't in-betweens. Either you're going with Hashem, with God, either you're following His commandments and you, want, and you have a belief and you want and, and you cling to Hashem, or you're, you're on the other side. The other side is the side of the evil inclination. There's no in-between. We cannot stand in between and see, let's see who's winning and we will join them. There, there, was no, there isn't any in-betweens. It's a definite thing. So this is the, the end of days and we can see what, what's happening. All of this is in disguise. All of this is the war of Amalek. And we'll see now by Parashat Vayakhel, what does Hashem want from us? Because the evil inclination wants to divide and to conquer. It wants groups and groups, different groups. That's the evil inclination. God wants unity. Unity of all humanity. Unity with Him. You understand that it's foolishness to think that we can be separated from God because the soul that we have is from God. The livelihood that we can move our organs, we can speak, we breathe, our heart beats only because of Hashem, only because of God, because He put the soul inside of us. We are all in His image. And everything He created is for His honor. So it's, it's, only the, it's only the evil inclination that causes people to think that they can be separated from God, from God because once they are separated from God, God can take the neshama out, the soul out, and then they go back to earth, the body goes back to earth. So, so much pity a person has when he passes from this world and he understands that he missed the goal in this world. We are passing through in this world. We come in and we go out. Everybody that, all, the, you, all humans that come into this world, they also go out, go out of this world. Nobody stays here for, forever. It's only a fixing. It's only a corridor before the living room. So we all need to understand this. And when we grasp this, we, we, and then we are clinging to the truth. So by saying a word of truth, by, by um, it says, he who covers his sins uh, cannot succeed. But this is what King Solomon says, but if you confess over your sins, then Hashem will have mercy upon you, which means confessing the truth. So when we cling to the truth, we don't have this this imagination that takes us to places that, uh, God forbid, it's uh, it's unimaginable what's going on, what's going on. This is a, a mental sickness, and it's like spreading in humanity. We came over here to do the will of God that created us, and to and to enjoy what he brought, what he built and made in this world by following his commandments, and with this to get married, to have children, and to see our great grandchildren, and to have pleasure from everything that Hashem gave us in His way by walking in His way. So now. It says in Parashat Bayakel, and this is the only portion that is written like this, and the Midrash says like this. It says, Raboteinu Bale Agada Omrim, Mitchilat Torah, Beat Sofa, En Ba Parasha Shenemar Ba Bayakel. Which means from the beginning of the books of Torah, which is Bereshit in the beginning, 
the, the first book until the end, which is the book of Dvarim, there's no portion like this that is written, Vayakel. Vayakel Moshe et kol adad Israel. Which means Moshe assembled all of the entire assembly of the children of Israel. There's no place that, that starts like this and says that Moshe assembled all of the children of Israel. So, except for this parasha, Ela zot bilvad, only this parasha, Amar HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Hashem said, Ase lecha kiilot dolot udrosh litneem barabim ilchot Shabbat. Make yourselves an assembly and teach them the commandments, the Jewish laws of Shabbat. Why? Because Shabbat is unity. On Shabbat we don't work, we are united, all the families united around, around the table with the Kiddush Vesiyat Adishma. So we are all united just like it's going to be when Mashiach is, is here. When the kingdom of Hashem will be revealed to everyone. Now Hashem is concealed in nature. But when it will come the time that Hashem will reveal Himself, then there will be unity all over the world among all humanity. And Hashem made a condition with this world. When he, in the beginning Hashem created heaven and earth. And when He created heaven and earth, He made a, a, a condition that if the children of Israel will not follow the commandments and will not go in the way of the Torah, all of this world goes back to chaos. That's why it won't help anyone. We are the firstborn of, of Hashem and we will always be here. Because the whole world stands on the children of Israel. We are all one big family. In every family, there's the firstborn. So the children of Israel are the firstborns of Hashem. He tells Moshe Rabbeinu to tell Pharaoh, tell him, Bni Bechori Israel, this is my firstborn, the children of Israel. So the whole world stands on the children of Israel that are the harvest, Reshit Vuata, that is called the beginning, the, the first harvest, and the Torah is called Reshit the, Darko, the, 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 the first, the, his way, the first way of Hashem, the Siat Adishman. So dear ladies, we are looking at the assembly of all of the children of Israel. And why is it so important? Because when Moshe Rabbeinu wanted to put on the holy tent that all of the children of Israel gave a, a, generously, they gave a turmot, they gave charity generously to the holy tent, each one gave separately. But when he assembled everybody by this, by, by this, when he spoke to them, the Hashem atoned part of the sin of the golden calf because the sin of the golden calf also happened with the assembly because it's written which means that the people which was the Erev Rav gathered on Aaron in order that he will make them something that they will follow so because the world is is ruled by measure measure for measure so the golden calf was made by gathering, so in order to atone for the gathering, we gather over here to hear from Moshe Rabbeinu all of the commandments of Shabbat and the commandments that Hashem gave Moshe Rabbeinu to tell us. Furthermore, Besiyat Adishmaya, we see that, I, that Moshe Rabbeinu, it's a beautiful thing that Rabbi Nachman Breslev says about Moshe Rabbeinu, what was the job of, he was the king of the children of Israel, but what was his job? Because we received as, you, as humans the freedom of choice between good and not good. And Hashem says, look, I'm putting in front of you a blessing and I'm putting in front of you a curse. If you will follow my way, you will be blessed. And if, because Hashem will dwell his abundance upon the children of Israel and upon the whole world. But if you won't listen to me, then you will be cursed because you are worshipping other gods. You are worshipping the evil inclination that tells you not to worship me. So we see over here that Moshe Rabbeinu stands in between elimination and between doing the will of Hashem, which means he is the tube of knowing Hashem by, by our emotions. How do we know that? So Rabbi Nachman Breslev Alav Shalom Shodot Aganalenu says this, that Moshe is Mem Shin He. Mem is, is, uh, Mem is 40, Shin is 300, and He is 5, it's 345. And then, the, if, if I subtract one 
from 345 it's three 344 344 is parallel 300 is shin 40 is mem 4 is dalet shmad shmad is elimination and then if i add one to the numerical value of the name of moshe which is 345 plus one it's 346 it becomes shmo the name of hashem so what is Shmo? We said 346. This is he. Moshe Rabbeinu was mamash the troop of knowing Hashem. Not only to say I believe him in Hashem. I know there's uh, that there's a Creator, but we need to feel it in our hearts in order to follow His way. It's not enough to say it from the mouth outside. We need to feel it. So in order to feel that Hashem is with us. And, and we feel it and we follow him by having the, the, the fear of honor of Hashem and the love of Hashem. How do we do that, dear ladies, with our hearts? Because the heart is the battery. In the heart, there's the part of the soul that is called the Ruach. On the right side of the heart, there is the good inclination. On the left side of the heart, the evil inclination sits. And over there is the decision either to listen to the neshama, that the soul, the higher part of the soul that is in our mind, or to listen to the lower part of the soul that flows in our blood, which is called nefesh. So this is the battery. So it's in our hearts. So we see that the name of Hashem, Shmo, that is, Moshe Rabbeinu is in the middle between Shmad, which means elimination that is, that is caused by not listening to Hashem, and Shmo, which means to listen to, the, to Hashem and, and to follow His way, and Besiat Adishmaya, to follow His commandments, because the word of Hashem is the commandments. So we see that this is also the numerical value of Ratzon. Ratzon is will. Reish is 200, Tzadik is 90, Vav is 6, and Nun is 50. All together it's 346. So, and this is the letters of Notzar, of creating, and this is the letters of Tzino. Tzino is a tube. So Moshe Rabbeinu created a, a tube of a knowing Hashem into the hearts of the children of Israel. Because once they were clinging and, and listening to the commandments from, he, from, the, uh, from the mouth of Moshe Rabbeinu and Aaron and, and all of the elderly people, that uh, elderly sages that uh, had the fear of Hashem and the love of Hashem, then all of this energy, all of their light came into the hearts of the children of Israel, which means what comes out of the heart goes into the heart. And by this, they also cling to Hashem, because first we have, in order to cling to Hashem, we first have to, to know that there's a creator. And not know only in our mouth, but also in our hearts that there's a creator. And then by knowing that there's a creator, then we have the fear. First, the fear of, of, of the creator that, wow, there's an eye that sees and ears that listen, and all of our actions are written in a book. Every night when we go to sleep, it's one sixtieth of death. Part of us all goes out and gives judgment in front of Hashem. So can you imagine at the end when we, when we go out of this world, when the soul is separated from the body, after the soul is saying goodbye to each part of the body, and the soul, the Zohar Kodosh says it starts from the, uh, from the feet, from the fingers and the feet, then it goes up until it goes out. So, and it says, and every, every part that the soul is, is, says goodbye to becomes cold. So then when the, soul's come, the soul comes out, it sees the divine presence. Only then, lo yireni adam v'chai. Hashem says, nobody can see me when he's alive. So only then, why? In order that if we follow the way of Hashem, the Siyat Adishmaya, so the, the Divine Presence hugs the souls, and all of the righteous tzaddikim come and greet the soul, and they escort her to heaven. But if we didn't listen, so we will know against whom do we, did we rebel. So we see... And then we see the destructive angels that we created in this world with our mouth, with our actions, everything that we did against Hashem, instead of following His way, by listening to the evil inclination. So then we see this is the separation. So the evil inclination wants division and to divide and to conquer. 
but Hashem wants unity. Our power is in our unity, not about the chairs in the Knesset and not about anything, but our power is our unity under the throne of Hashem. Under the throne of God, this is our power. Not It's the power of the children of Israel and all humanity. Because we are the creation of the creator of God. So this is the, the power of being united. That's why when we say, Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad. What does it mean, one? Echad is Aleph Chet Dalid. Aleph Chet is Ach, brothers. We are all brothers and sisters. And Daled is, symbolizes David, King David, Mashiach. So when we are all united, Mashiach can reveal himself. Hashem will reveal Mashiach. So it comes from our unity to be one as one, just like when we received the Torah, it's written, that the children of Israel were encamped there, opposite the mountain, but encamped as one person, one soul, because truly we are one person, one soul. And that's what Hashem wants. And it says, in Chumash Dvarim, Vezot Abracha, it says, Vayi Bishurun Melech Bitasef Rashi'am Yachad Shifte Yisrael. When does Hashem, when, when do we see the king of the children of Israel, which is Mashiach, and, will, the, the, and there will be a, a the, um, the kingdom of Hashem will be revealed because now everything is concealed. It will be re revealed when all of the tribes of, of the children of Israel are as one. Mamash, just like Vayakel Moshe et kol adad ne Yisrael, that Moshe assembled all of the entire assembly of the children of Israel as one people. And we are one people. We are 12 tribes. We are one people. How do we know that? Because we see, we have Echad, Echad, one. Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad. Listen, the children of Israel, Hashem is our God. Hashem is one. The measure of mercy, the measure of judgment is all one. And the children of Israel with Hashem are all, ma are all one. Because Chet Vedalet, Chet is eight, Dalet is four. Together, eight and four is twelve. It's the twelve tribes. Aleph is Alufot Shalolam is Hashem, and it's also when the Aleph, even the way the Aleph is written with a vav and two yudim, two each yud is ten, two yudim is twenty, a vav is six. Together, it's twenty-six. It's yud kei vav kei, the name of Hashem of Chesed. So we are all one, united, even though we are 12 tribes. And Hashem, and it says, Rashash says in the name of Arizal, that there were 12 paths, there are 12 paths in heaven for all of the prayers of the children of Israel of each tribe. So and in the eyes of Hashem, we are all one. We are not divided, we are all one. But we have Erev Rav ve Amalek among us. And some of us fall in the hands of, of these people. And these Erev Rav Amalek is all over the world. It's not only in Israel, it's all over the world. So if we want the prosperity of the world, peace upon the world, the Siyata Dishmeh, that there will be enough food for everyone, everybody will be happy, we need to unite under the throne of Hashem, under the throne of our Creator. But Malchut Hashem, we need to ask from Hashem for the kingdom of God, for the kingdom of King David, and Besiyad Adishma, the building of the third temple. That's what we need because there's a chaos now in the world. So now we are going to continue, and it says, uh, it, it says, when does Hashem reveal His kingdom? When all of the children of Israel are united. Our power is in our unity, because when the nations around us, the, the land of Israel is um, surrounded with mamash enemies all over. All of our borders are enemies. And we have on the west, the Mediterranean. Unbelievable. We are the only democratic state and around us, all of them are dictatorships. And when we are divided like this, I can't, it's, it doesn't even, we can't even grasp this. 
instead of thinking of the good of the children of Israel, but people uh, go and, and make demonstrations that do not accept. The, this is democracy. Once the people uh, chose, this is democracy accept, accepting, accepting the, uh, the, the voice of the people. There's no question about it. So it's unbelievable how we let our enemies look at us and now they think that we are weak because our strength is in our unity. So they think they can do whatever they want with us. So dear ladies, I want to show you what does it mean to be united. We are going now to go to the Rashash. Rabbi Shalom Sha'abi, Alava Shalom Shrotot Aganalenu, that was the head of Yeshivat Bet El, Yeshivat HaMekubalim, the Metiv Tov Mekubalim in Yerushalayim. And we see over, and, and I want to tell you, Bezrat Hashem, that it says in Bamishnah at the end of Masechet uh, Uktsim, chapter 3, uh, 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 Mishnah Yudbet, Mishnah 12, it says, Amar Rabbi Shimon ben Chalavta, that Rabbi Shimon ben Chalavta said, Lo matza kadosh baruchu kli machzik bracha, that Hashem, kli machzik bracha li Yisrael, that Hashem did not find a vessel that holds blessing for the children of Israel, Ela Shalom, only peace. Shenemar Hashem oz lamo iten, Hashem mevarech et amo b'shalom, which means, it says in chapter 29 in Tehillim, that Hashem gave strength to the children of Israel, Hashem blessed them with peace. When we have peace and we are united, no nation can go against us, no nation. But when we are not united and we are groups and groups, and we are seeking the help of the nation against the, the children of Israel, it, it, it's, it's not even, it doesn't, it's not log logical what's going on. By this, we are seeking our ruin. And you know what? Only, it's uh, 70 years from the Holocaust, and, it's, and it's, uh, it seems that we don't remember what happened to our nation. So we need to wake up and quickly. We don't have time anymore. And it says, a Mishnah says, Hillel v'shamay kiblu mehe, which means b'perkei avot, b'mishnah in perkei avot, chapter one and Mishnah uh, twelve. It says that Hillel omer hevei mital midav shel Aaron that we should all be from the students of Aaron. Ohev shalom ve'odef shalom, that loves peace and pursues peace. Ohev et abriyot u'mekarban la Torah, that loves, that loves the humanity, that loves the people and make them close, come close to the Torah by, by seeking peace. So I would like to tell you also, King David says in chapter 34 in Tehillim, and he says over here, he says like this, Lechu banim shimuli. Okay, listen to me, sons. Irat Hashem elamdechem, I will teach you the fear of God. Mi ha'ish echafetz chayim, who is a person who seeks life. Ohev yamim lirot tov, that loves the days to, in order to see goodness in the days that he's alive. Netzor lesholcha mira, do not uh, slander. Do not, which means guard your tongue, do not slander, and, and don't deceive, and don't say lies. Sur mera tov. Sur mera means that uh, um, don't go over the, all of the commandments that are forbidden, don't violate the Torah, and follow the, the positive commandments. Bakesh shalom, seek peace, veratfeu and pursue peace. So these, if, if a person is seeking a good life in this world and the world to come, this is what he needs to do. To follow the commandments of Hashem, to see that he's not slandering, only finding the merit of everyone, Be'ezrat Hashem, and by this, Be'ezrat Hashemaya, and, and, see, and, and, uh, and seeking true, and seeking peace and pursuing peace. So we are going now to Rasha uh, Shabbi Shalom Shabbi Alav Shalom Shrotot Aganelenu, and in order to fulfill, the, because the children of Israel are one soul. Before we'll go to the Rasha, we'll go first. We'll go first to Tomer Dvora. I'm going to Tomer Dvora Bezat Hashem, and and in order that we will understand this, 
we'll have in order to understand that, that you, we are all one soul and we are all responsible for each other we we mamash re, each one of the children of israel we are all, the only nation that has responsibility for each other none of the nations have call israel arvim zelaze we are responsible for each other and why because we come from one soul our bodies are separated but we have spots of one soul and why do we, bodies, why do we have separate because one person cannot do the whole fixing so that that soul is the sparks of that soul is separating different bodies and each and every one of us does part of the fixing together we do the fixing of of the of, of the sin of adam and eve all of us so we bring back all the sparks of holiness that fell in in impure places back to hashem and by this we are bringing the whole world to it to it to its fixing in order that a mashiach will be revealed and the kingdom of hashem will be revealed in this world and there's i don't think that if we don't see with our eyes the kingdom of hashem that it's not here the kingdom of hashem is here it doesn't matter if we acknowledge it or, or we do we do not acknowledge it it doesn't matter to the truth because each and every one of us can move the body and 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 have his livelihood only by the soul that God gave us all humanity so even if we can say that has we shalom god forbid that we don't believe that there's a god we can say it but you understand that it's foolish because no one can live without the livelihood of god inside of him the soul that god gave him and if you'll ask why do the wicked continue why does it doesn't Hashem eliminate them because Hashem is waiting he wants us to repent because everyone is precious to Hashem he Hashem loves every soul in this world and each soul is precious and he wants everybody to repent and to do his will so he has patience and he waits for us to to do the fixing so dear ladies how will we know and how will we appreciate each other so it says first of all in parashat baalotcha we'll go first to parashat baalotcha it says over there ki hashem diber tov al israel so because hashem spoke good about um, about the children of israel about the children of israel and it refers to we go to esther amalka we just had poem in the Megillat Esther, chapter 7, verse 9, it says, Diber tov al spoke good about the king. Every place that is written king without the name of the king, it means, it refers to Hashem, to God. So, our sages say, he who speaks good about the children of Israel and finds the merit of the children of Israel is like he spoke good about God. C can you imagine? So we continue, who is respected by others? The one that respects the uh, people, that uh, the creation of Hashem. The one who respects human beings. This is Avot. And this is, this is the essence of fixing our measures. So how, how can we come to this? So Rabbi Moshe Kordovero in chapter 2 says, the first thing, the first thing that we should make ourselves accustomed to is which means we should respect all creation after we recognize the, the, the wisdom, that Hashem, what wisdom Hashem created humanity. Which means that he created a human being with his wisdom, Hashem, with his, the wisdom of God. And every, everything that is created in this world, the wisdom of the Creator of God is in it. Without everything that we see around us has the physical part and the spiritual part. The spiritual part, the dear ladies, and the physical, everything is from God. God is everything and everything is God. But we, we came over here and we have the freedom of choice. If we would see everything, if we would see 
the, the livelihood that there's a godly livelihood in everything then there wouldn't be any freedom of choice but Hashem wanted us to choose to choose good so be, because of this Hashem is concealed in nature and we see and that a person should realize that all of the creation is greatly precious to Hashem, everything that he created. Hashem, when he created Adam, he told him, you see, all of this, all of this beautiful world I created for you, see that you won't ruin my world. And we are all responsible for this. And it says over here, And if a person does not honor the creation of, of Hashem and he despises the, creator of Hashem, the creation of Hashem, it means that it means that he also, God forbid, despises the creator that created them. And he gives a, over here its parable to a, um, an artist that made that was thinking and he made a, a special vessel with a lot of wisdom in it he put his mind to it and he made a beautiful vessel and everybody came to see it and there was a person over there and that despised his the vessel that he created of course that the artist will will be um, offended and very uh, cross with a person that despised because he put all of his mind to create it to create the beautiful vessel so it's it's the same thing with Hashem with God because Hashem loves all of his creation he loves his children and when we despise his children and we don't honor his children Hashem has anger because he created us it means that we do not honor Hashem and we all need to walk in the way of Hashem and in order to walk in the way of Hashem Hashem gave us a, a guideline which is the Torah and he tells us what to do in the Torah in order to have a blessed life and and abundance in this world and so we see so it says so it, it's proper for a man for every human being to perceive wisdom from from what he sees about humanity that he sees the wisdom of Hashem in their creation so to perceive wisdom in them and not to despise them and the second thing that Rabbi Moshe Korob Dober says Allah Hashem's kutot again alenu yargil atzmo lachnis avad bnei adam belibo and that we should accustom ourselves to love our fellow human beings our fellow men in our hearts he says even the wicked ones which means we can not uh, agree with the actions of a person but we remember that the soul that is inside that human being is a soul from God so we love the soul we can disagree with the actions so what do we do so we pray to Hashem we say Hashem please you gave us a merit to, to uh, uh, enlighten us to know you please enlighten all humanity to know you open move the curtains because the evil inclination closes the curtains of the spiritual eyes we see with a physical eye but he closes the curtain that with the spiritual eyes we won't see the truth in this world out of this out of falseness so in order that we will see the truth in this world out of falseness we need to uh, pray for our fellow human beings that Hashem will help all of us to repent, to see the truth and to follow His way because the commandments that the children of Israel received, which is 620, 613 from the Torah and, and 7 from our sages, 620, which is the numerical value of a crown of Keter and, this, and the nations received 7 uh, commandments of Noah commandments are the word of Hashem and Hashem says I will bestow upon you abundance of, of, uh, of goodness if you just follow my way choose the truth uh, 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 above the falseness and we continue I'm going to chapter 1 in Tomer Dvorah Rabbi Moshe Kordovero and it says over there 
that we need to know that all kacha adam im chavero, kol Yisrael em sh'er basar elu im elu. That all of the children of Israel are related to each other. Mipnei shaneshemot klulot yachad. Being that the souls are all united in one soul. That each and every one of us has a part in our, in our brother's soul, which means we are all united. All of us are related. Even though we are, we are separated by bodies, but the souls are united. So it's my best interest that 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 my my sister will do her fixing and my friend will do her fixing because we are all related, we are all one soul. We are all part. We, we, we each one of us is part of of each other, which means yes, bazeh chelik zeh bazeh chelik zeh, and that's why ketuv umita v'chen mitam zeh Israel arabim lazel azed because of this all of the children of Israel. Are guarantors of each other, which means they're responsible, enabled uh, uh, for each other. What does it mean if, if, for example, I do a mitzvah, I do a good deed, then all of the children of Israel have a share in it. And by this, it brings abundance not only to the children of Israel, but to the whole world. But if chas v'shalom, we don't follow the will of Hashem, so all of the children of Israel together also have part in this. And, and not only us, but the whole world. So if we make a hole in the boat, like a person who, we are all in the same, we are all in the same ship. So, and, but everybody's in a different cabin. So just think if one person in his cabin will make a hole only to his cabin and people will come to him, what are you doing? The ship, the, the, the ship is going to sink. And he will say, but I, I don't do anything to you. I'm doing it only in my cabin. But his cabin, it, it, we, once he makes a hole, the whole ship will go, uh, we, we will sink in the water. This is the same thing. We are all one soul, all of the children of Israel. And for that, and because of this, ולכך ראוי לאדם להיות חפץ בטובתו של חברו. ואינו טובה על טובת חברו וכבודו יהיה חביב עליו כשלו שהרי הוא הוא ממש which means therefore it is proper for a man to desire the benefit of his fellow and also view his neighbor with a good eye with a good fortune בסייעת הדשמיה in a positive way ואינו טובה על טובת חברו וכבודו and he should cherish the honor of his friend חביב עליו כשלו like he cherishes his own honor, he should also check. He should also cherish the honor of his friend. And it says over Sharei Hu Hu Mamash, because for he is a, actually him, because we all have part in the same soul. So it's like this, but in separated, in separated bodies. So each and every body, each and every one of us does part of the fixing and together we do the whole fixing of Adam and Eve, of, of the first sin of the first human being. Can you imagine? So that's why we are also because of this the children of Israel are command, commanded love your fellow Jew as yourself. In Parashat Kedoshim B'chumash Vayikra. Why? Because we are one soul. Mamash Katuv Sharei Hu Hu Mamash which means for he, his friend is actually me. My friend is actually me, and I'm him, and I'm her, each and every one of us, dear ladies. And that's why Hillel said, and how can you love another fellow human being like you love yourself? By not hurting him. By whatever you don't want others to do to you, you don't do to others. That's the rule. Don't do to others what you don't want anybody else to do to you. So Besiata Dishmaya, this is called Achdut to be united. This is what Hashem wants. This is what Moshe Rabbeinu shows us. Lachen it says, Vayakel Moshe kol adat bnei Israel. How do we know that Moshe Rabbeinu is the knowing of Hashem for the, all of the children of Israel? Because it says that Moshe assembled all of the entire assembly of the children of Israel. Uh, the assembly is adat, which means 
עין דלת תף, עין דלת דף, is דעת, is the letters of דעת, knowing of Hashem. So משה רבנו was like the, the tap that you open, and from this it goes to all of the children of Israel, the, the fear of Hashem, the fear of, the fear of honor of Hashem, the love of Hashem, to be united with Hashem, but first you have to know Hashem, דעת צריך שיהיה. So now I'm, I'm going to Pelioetz, and Pelioetz says like this, that אחדות היא עמוד גדולה לתיקון עולם ולקיים כל דבר. ורוח המקום נוחה מאוד מדבר זה. ועד שאמרו רבותינו זכרונה לברכה, והוא באחד. Which means that unity is the pillar of the perfection of, the, of fixing the whole world. And that the whole world stands on, on unity. You, um, sometimes uh, when we come at the beginning, when we study Bereshit, and we come to Parashat Noach, and we see what happened to the generation of the flood, that Hashem eliminated all humanity. But the, the, uh, the generation of the tower, He didn't eliminate them. He just separated them with different languages. So the question is why? Why did Hashem do this? Because over there they wanted to make a tower and to tell Hashem, you are up there and you'll be in heavens and we will do whatever we want in this world. We will be our rulers, which is foolish. Because the so, it's only the evil, the koch ha-medame, ha-medame, because the evil, you know, the evil inclination knows Hashem. The evil inclination knows God. It's one of his angels. His job is to make us, is to make us fools. That we will be um, confused. And we'll think that we are that we are strong in this world and we can do whatever we want and, and there's no husband and God forbid the creator that we we are responsible for ourselves it's only imagine it, it's this is imaginary it's not the truth because again once God takes the soul out of us then the body goes back to earth the body cannot move anymore all of this emo, emotion that we have it's only because the soul is inside the body which the part of Hashem inside of us, three are partners in creating a human being. It's God and his father and mother. So dear ladies, we see this is all imaginary. So we see over here that it says that I, Hashem uh, has pleasure when we are all united. So at the time of the flood, they, they weren't united. There were groups and they were fighting Noach. There were several groups, but on the time of the tower, the generation of the tower, they were all united. One, one language, all of them were united. So when they were united, he didn't eliminate them, he just separated them. Because what they did was not a, a good thing. But in the generation of the flood, because there were groups, groups, then the measure of judgment ruled over them and they were eliminated. So, dear ladies, the power of the children of Israel are in their unity. So we come back to our Ashash, and over there, I'm going to tell you about Shtarit Kashrut, which means it is a decree that they wrote on a piece of paper, and uh, which they are uh, uniting themselves, each, each one to another. They were 12 rabbis uniting themselves, each one to, to uh, each other. And because uh, you remember that the, that the temples, the first one and the second one, were ruined, and the first one was ruined because of three sins that it says that you are not, uh, are not allowed to go over them, you should die and not go over them, which is worshipping other God, um, having intimate relationship that is forbidden, and killing. And the second temple, uh, and they went to exile for 70 years, and then they came back to the land of Israel. But the second temple was ruined, and until now we don't have the third temple, which is more, uh, almost 2,000 years. And the second temple was uh, ruined by a baseless hatred, which is parallel to these three, to these three sins. So, Rashash uh, and all of the, uh, the the other eleven rabbis, this is what they wrote. 
ברצות השם, בתשובת השבים, that השם wants the repentance of, of humans, רוח לבשה אותנו צעירי הצאן, חתומי מטה, that, um, that a good uh, spirit came upon ourselves, us that are, that are signed at the end of the um, covenant that they signed. להיות כאיש אחד חברים, that we will be like one person, uh, friends. והכל יהיה שם ייחוד קדושה בריחו שכינתן, everything is tonight. השם with, with a divine presence, which is the children of Israel. לעשות נחת רוח לרצינו, that we will make a, a pleasure to השם, ועל דבר זה נכרת ברית בנותינו, and we are... Uh, making a covenant among us, על פי התנאים הללו, שרירים וקיימים, uh, uh, with these conditions that, that will stand, for, uh, that will stand uh, strong forever. ראשון הוא, the first one, כולנו החתומים 12 איש, we are all 12 uh, uh, people that, uh, that signed this treaty, כמספר שבטייה, like the 12 tribes, נהיה כולנו אוהבים זה לזה אהבה רבה, that we are taking upon ourselves to love each other, a great love, אהבת נפש, a love of a soul, ואהבת הגוף, and also love of a body, והכל לעשות נחת רוח ליוצרנו, and this is to make, to give satisfaction to השם, בדבקי ברוך החדה, דבקים ברוך, that we are all united in as one soul. אך בחלקות לעניין הגשם, but we are separated in different bodies בלבד. That's the only thing. We are all one soul, but we, each one of us is in a different body. ואולם איש את רעהו נפשו קשורה בנפשו. Which means that but each soul is connected to, to the other soul. החילוק הוא רק בגופים. We, we, the only difference is that we, each, each and every one of us, the, the soul has a different dressing. A different body. Each and every one of us, every one of us is in a different body. שנהיה כולנו השני מסר כנפש אחד. We are all twelve as one soul. כאילו חלק עבר ממנו ממש בכל נפש ובכל מאוד. It's like, like we are part of each other, like part of each other's organs. All of us, one soul. באופן שאם חס ושלום יהיה איזה צער, יהיה, יהיה איזה צער לאחד ממנו, that if God forbid there's a... sorrow, you know, the suffering that comes upon one of us, לסייעו כולנו או כל אחד פרטות בכל הבא מידו. So we will all help him. It's like our sorrow. If, some, if one of us has sorrow, has a challenge, something happened to him, it's like it happened to all of us because we are like one, uh, one soul. We are like one organ of the other. So it says we are all going to help him. ועיקרו של דבר, and the main thing, להוכיח כל אחד לחברו. And also we are going to rebuke each other, אם חס ושלום שמע עליו איזה חטא, if we saw one of us doing something that is not in the will of Hashem, sinning, בכלל הדבר נתחייבנו אנחנו, and we are uh, responsible for this, החתומים מטה that we sign over there, לקשר אהבתנו בתכלית הקשר אמיץ. That this love, the, the love of the souls, will be strong. And even, not only in this world, but we will also, um, see, uh, we will also take care of each other uh, for um, the world to come, Bezrat Hashem. הן בעודנו בעולם הבא להציל עוד את הכל ולהעלות את נפש אחד מחברונו בכל מה שיכול ובכל מיני הטרחה שיכול to help elevate the soul also in the, in the world to come שיכול לעשות כל אחד בעולם הבא וכל אחד הצל יציל את חברו and each one will save his friend not, will not be happy with the embarrassment of his friend, but will save his friend because we understand that we are one soul dressed with different bodies. Spark of this soul is dressed with different bodies. So we are only separated in bodies, but our soul is one. So because we are separated in bodies, the evil inclination gives us a, 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 a imagination That, that we are not one soul, but we all, the children of Israel, is one soul. We are all um, related to each other. 
שמעכשיו נתוועדנו ונתחברנו ונקשרנו ונתייחדנו כאיש אחד חברים בכל מכל כל. So we are friends for everything. לסייע ולעזור ולחזק ולאמץ את איש את רעהו לשוב בתשובה. We will help each other in every way that we can to repent, to do the will of Hashem. לא, הוא להוכיח לא ולהשתתף בצרתו, and also if we need to rebuke each other, we will do that, and, and we will be, and if somebody has a sorrow, then we will be with him and we will help him. בין בעולם הזה ובין in this world or in the world to come. And uh, it says שנתחברנו ונתייחדנו uh, לכנזכר, סליחה, ועוד נתחייבנו שלא להקפיד שום קפד, קפידה. איש על חברו כלל בעיקר, and even if we rebuke each other, we won't have any anger or grunge on, on each other, because we understand it's only for our best interest, in order that we will have, will be elevated in the world to come, in paradise. So, בין בעניין התוכחות, בין בעניין אחר. ואם יחטא איש לאיש, and if we, if we sin to each other, אם חול לו מיד בכל לב ונפש. that immediately will forgive each other with our hearts and all of our soul. And over here, and it's written that they, כל זה נתחייבנו בחיוב גמור ושלם, בקניין גמור ושלם, במדת החשר למקנאי הבא, בכלי ראוי להיות בו קניין, and they all say that they give the same decree and they are going to sign it, בסייעתא דשמיא, all of them. And they accept upon themselves to have peace among them, and they ask from Hashem to bring Vainom Hashem Elokeinu, and they ask to bring that Hashem will bring them a, a bracha, a blessing in their hands for everything that they are going to do and what they are accepting of, upon themselves. And they say, Hineni noten lo et briti shalom, which means that like uh, Hashem gave uh, Pinchas a Kohen his uh, covenant of peace, that he will, Hashem yibarech atamu b'shalom, that he will give them also. Because like we started the lesson, and I told you, and Masechet Oktsim b'mishna, that Hashem couldn't find a vessel that will uh, uh, bring uh, abundance upon the children of Israel, uh, a goodness upon the children of Israel, except for peace. And we need to be the vessel, Besiata Dishme. So we need to have inner peace and peace with others. So it says over here, Bakol Sharir Uvarir, Vine, Met Nachona Dabar Bekayam, and everything is true. And then they signed all of the twelve, Besiata Dishmaya. So this is what Moshe Rabbeinu gave us to know that if we will be united, Mashiach is going to be rebuilt. Because just like we say, Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad. Listen, the children of Israel, Hashem, the name of, of mercy of Hashem, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem is God, is also the name of judgment, Hashem Echad, Hashem is one. Echad, one, Aleph, Chet, Daled, is Ach, we are all brothers and sisters, we are Ach, and when we are all united as brothers and sisters, That when we understand that we are all related, we come from the same soul, just we are sparks of holiness of that soul, then Mashiach ben David is going to be revealed. So I would like to bless all of us, Bezat Hashem, that we will all have the schut to read Mashiach Tzitkan Barachamim, Murim Bimra Biyamenu, Amen. Eliyahu Navi Zachur Latov, Lola Mipared Adam Mechabro Bidvar Lacha, Yachid Verabim Malacha Kerabim. Amen, Amen, Amen. That's so beautiful, Rabbanit.